Hey guys, this is an overview of the Gaussian Blur asset that I developed for Unity URP. Finally updated it to 2022.3 and I wanted to give a quick demo about how to use it. You can see it's in use here and so I'll explain how to set it up, how to configure it. So the first thing that you'll need to do is you need to make sure to add the Blur Render feature to your Universal Renderer data. When you go to your Universal Renderer data, you'll just look for the Blur feature and then add it. You can see here it takes effect right away. That's because I've already set up the Gaussian blur override in the volume. So it works seamlessly with global volumes. And that means that you can apply the effect differently to different cameras or in different areas of your scene. Now you can see here that the effect is already applied. That's because we're using a blur mask. We'll get into that in a minute, but I'll disable that first. So in general, when you turn it on, Let's go ahead and remove that and then add it. Just look for Gaussian Blur. You need to enable it to turn it on and then you see that it takes effect right away. So it takes effect because we have the radius enabled. This is super high quality blur and we do it all in just two passes. It's not super performant because of that reason, but it is really accurate. It lets us sort of layer in different effects at different layers. You can customize the radius and you can get really small radius here. It also lets us have like really smooth up and down scaling for the blur effect. So we'll just leave it at 15 for now. You can customize the fall off texture. So instead of having the blur applied equally to the whole screen, you can apply a texture that'll apply a fall off. So I think I include a sample texture in here somewhere. We raise that up a little bit. You can see that the blur is applied from the center of the screen because of this gradient texture that we have applied to the screen. You can create your own blur textures if you want. If you want to have like variable blurring across your screen, that's totally fine, no problem. I believe can also apply like this if you want to have sort of like a shape background. In this case, it's being applied to the whole screen, but I think I have a demo in here that shows using this with just a single background. So it makes it really easy to create a sort of frosted glass effect. That can look really nice. You can see this, the way that I authored this shape. We have an alpha channel. So the alpha channel cuts out the background. And then we have an RGB channel. We just have this drop shadow applied. Let's turn that off for now. And then we have this option to ignore less blurred pixels. So if we enable that, you can see that it sort of starts ignoring the pixels that are back here. But if we have it enabled, it integrates these less blurred pixels into the background. So it's a nice option. You can see some artifacts sometimes when that's enabled, like over here. Well, actually, first I'll talk about the text. So you can see here that the text isn't blurred or sorry, just this text isn't blurred. So when we have something set to screen space overlay for your canvas, by default, that text won't, or other images won't be blurred. So anything in your overlay texture, not blurred. And then in the canvas camera texture, that will be blurred. Well, just this text, for example. It also works with the legacy text component. I think that's set somewhere kind of far back. So you can see this text here, this is blurred. And it also blurs images on that canvas as well. So you can see that that image is blurred as well. And all that's happening below or behind the overlay screen space texture. You can order these hierarchies in whatever order you want. When you're using the blur effect, we can also turn this blur off. So it's disabling sort of the screen space, entire screen blur but you can enable just specific shapes. And you can see that I have this square here. And we've applied this blur mask texture to it. And you can use this to configure the blur for this area. And so that gives you a little bit more control or configuration over how you want it to look. But in general, you can use textures or other things like that to apply blur just to a selective area. You can also tint it, dark tint, light tint, whatever. That's the blur mask. 
I include a sample of that material, but it's just included. You can scale the width and you can scale the height. And that makes it pretty easy to configure a blur that looks pretty good for your project. Okay, so I think that's a pretty decent first overview for the Gaussian Blur asset. If you're interested in getting access to this, I'll include a link in the description below. So that'll link to the Unity Asset Store. We're also rolling out a sort of beta program that will let you get access to all of our different assets. If you're interested in getting access to that, go ahead and shoot me an email. I'll include a, my email description below. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys like this video and I hope it was informative. Cheers.